Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our talk show about the, the contribution of Asian in Ireland. Uh, we are going to have the first a talk show with uh, some wonderful students of Queen College. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Pierre-Louis, and thank you so much, all of you. Uh, uh, we have uh, with us uh, the Association Student of Queen College for our first talk show. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Carmen Kalou, and I'm a senior at Queen's College, majoring in political science, sociology, and economics. In addition, I'm also the student body president at Queen's College. So thank you for having me here. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Patrick Jo. I'm a graduate of Queen's College with a bachelor's in arts and environmental studies. Hello, everybody. My name is Bensky Belazare. I'm a senior at Queen's College studying uh, economics, and uh, I also served as the president of NABA, National Association of Black Accountants at that chapter. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jan Said. I majored in communications, an emphasis on marketing. Um, I minored in an honors business program. What well, we are going to start with the president. We are really happy to have you. What can you tell us about uh, the association student of Queen College? I think the Student Association provides a lot of students the opportunity to grow as leaders. I think it's a great platform for students where you get to meet a lot of elected officials, where you get to um, plan events, where you get to see what you care about and you can plan from it. So for example, this year our initiative as student government is to diversify Queens College. So right now we have a population of 9% of African American and black students at Queens College. And we plan on increasing that by, for example, um, targeting schools in Southeast Queens. And by targeting those schools, we hope that next, the next generation that comes to Queens College will be more black students and more students of color. So that way, that's kind of our agenda that we put in place. And I feel like the association provides that leeway where we, got to, where we can like, plan events, where we can plan programming, planning policies that not only last a year or two years, but forever. But, uh, what, uh, could you tell us uh, some challenges, uh, some problems facing the Asian student uh, over there? I think that some of the challenges that Haitian students would face at Queens College would be actually knowing who's Haitian and who's not Haitian. Um, because typically we don't have, because we're a commuter school, we don't have the chance to talk to each other, to engage with each other. So it's kind of hard to just kind of round about uh, who's Haitian and discuss about Haitian issues or Haitian anything because we sometimes don't even know each other. Um, because our campus is so vast, we have about 17,000 students. So it is hard to navigate. However, I do believe that Queens College is a really great place where you can build with so many different diversities. You can enlarge. And in the end, we all met each other at Queens College. We're all Haitian. So it does happen. 